Hello, hello. What time is it? 12.36. It's exactly 12. No, that's not what I mean. It's repo time. We know that. All right. Time to repo another storage shed. Actually, it's a dog kennel today. So I got a 12 by 12 dog kennel. So that's the scoop of it. Uh, I don't have a lot to say. So, as always, don't know a lot about the situation until you get there so we will see you when we get there look at it sitting back in there behind that fence I'll take a picture from right here if I can come out the back and throw a fence back here too yeah that thing's fenced in all right any dogs in it from here you're not supposed to put these inside a fence now got to be able to get it hmm. well I'm seeing my options to eat or Take a couple panels off back here and come out in the back here. Go around where my trailer's back. And potentially lift it over top of the guardrail. Otherwise, I would have to work right up here by the house. There's a gate, but that gate is not going to be wide enough. I can see that to get it out through there. And then the fire hydrant here. I'm not sure it'll fit between the fire hydrant and the tree. And a wire there. Let's see what kind of screws they use. Square or Philip. Huh. All right, I thought I could get in this door, but oh, I can't. I'm uh, trying to figure out if there's dogs in it, but I might as well go to the back and take out a panel. That's what I gotta do anyway. To not bring my drill. If there were dogs in it, surely they'd be barking by now. But if there are, I'll have to. I'll uh, probably have to just bring it up, sort of halfway out the fence. Figure out a way to get the dogs to stay inside the fence while I take the shed out. The camera.
Probably concreted in posts. Come on, I gotta get in there to check the number. It doesn't appear to to maybe ever be used as a dog kennel. Alright, electric, huh? Oh snap. The lights came on. That means there's power to it. Okay, hopefully it's just the cord that I can unplug. Alright, number zero six eight. Four eight, that's it right there. Get a little AC unit in here. I wonder if it's gonna fall out when I haul it. Seems like it's pretty solid. The heater in here. There's no dogs using like that. Right, where's this power coming in at? a bunch of paint buckets. up and lift it to try to find the court for the electric because I don't see it yet I saw battery like jumping cables in here. Oh, and I can't get back in here. I gotta move this stuff back here. Whew. Bunch of insects. Okay. Oh, there's the pipe right here. What was I thinking? So, my goodness, they got, they went all out. So this is just jumping cables here, yeah. Well, um, pretty much have to pick up the back then and check on that electric. Go on the site there. Pick up the site. can find uh, anything up here that might go to that. It's just right there. Um, 
man. There might be a connection in that box. Did I get this connect? Right there. That way I can see at least how big the wire is. We got big, big black wires. That's the full blast electric right there, man. Oh man. help from a professional uh -huh. um got the dog kennel here and there's electric hooked up to it it's uh the big three big black wires uh coming out of the house through conduit and in by the house i check where it comes out and there's no connection there so what do you do yeah like it comes out of the basement and there's a pipe there where you can take the lid off to look in there and you know i thought maybe there'd be a way to connect it to wire but it's just one piece <laughs> how much you got for bail money right now i'm lifting it from the site to look underneath and there's a four inch block i could put a few block under it so it's like like the one side would be a foot off the ground just to you know have a crappy angle here yeah all right i'll do that see ya this baby I'm trying to keep an eye on this electric line power line so I don't rip it off Pulling on a little bit. 
definitely good. And then I'll get the breakers off. Yep, everything's off. power off and I'm going to lock the door hopefully I don't have a key your shit is locked not your shit our shit Fence is falling for me. I almost took a fence there. <laughs> that was pretty good. Almost took a fence. I should be a comedian. Better than me. Neat stink. Okay, so there's that scoop. I really need to get me a bracket in here to mount my camera because I just had to stand it there. So people are wondering, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, yeah, two, uh, 220 volt electric hooked up to it. There's no breaker anywhere like between the house and the shed or anything that I can. I mean, the only way to disconnect it is either to cut it or disconnect it to the breaker box. And that, that's too much. Like, you can't mess with that kind of electric. And I know it was on. Well, you might have seen in the video. If you didn't, the lights in there came on in the building. So, I turned it like that. So, now it's a very awkward angle sitting back there. And then I put a couple block on the front corner to make it even more awkward and weird, but you don't want it sitting like that. And, uh, okay, I gotta open the camera. I just don't like when I have to hold it. Um, hold on, the sign says bump. So, okay. Um, yeah, and sometimes, I mean, I don't, this, this is too small of a shed to really twist it, but if you put a, I'm going under a bridge, you didn't go blind, don't worry about it. If uh, you put a block under the corner where it twists the building, you can make it where their door will get stuck and they can't even open it. But a small building like that, 
uh, it's it's like too solid it won't really twist enough and then I did lock the back door and I should have locked all the doors I didn't think about it but they would have to crawl in through the kennel in order to get to the back if they don't have a key I'm just hoping that they still had their keys inside the shed or something that they don't have it on them but either way um, this will definitely get their attention so now they can call the rent on company and go, hey, what, what's going on? My shit, something crazy going on. And they can say, well, that's because you didn't make payment. Once you make payment, which is gonna include us coming out here, um, and I'll get your account cleared up, then uh, we'll come back out and uh, we'll put it back where it was and make it all nice. So, yep, you do what you can. You do what you can, man. Yeah. Well, guess what? There's a train. Oh, they just start backing up. They don't know which way they want to go. Well, I guess I'll wait here a little bit. There's a driveway back here I can turn around at. Um, let me set this thing down so I don't have to hold it. Something that I've been wanting to talk about, and since this is a short video, there's my chance to, to bring it up. The YouTube comment situation so let me let me be clear I'm not here to yell at people I appreciate all the comments we get even the the hate comments but I'm just here to tell you that YouTube has a filtering process I guess in their comments that they will take out actually I think I set it up like this I'm not even quite sure but either way if you make a really nasty comment towards somebody or myself it will filter that comment out where it won't even be posted on the video nobody's going to see it so just so you know if, if you want to do that and if you want to get if you want your comment to be seen then that's not how you do it because it's not going to be seen let me put the truck in park um, the next thing is then I can also put in filters where certain words that are used it'll filter those out and well first like I said it, it completely blocks them out YouTube blocks those comments if they're really bad like calling somebody the word or the n-word stuff like that and then the next level is where they only show me I can go on my comments and I can go on help for review and there's comments in there. I mean, I do this regularly. If I think about it, there's always a bunch of comments in there. If you put a link in something, or you put a, if you put in there, uh, cheese and ham, and you have to put a dot, a period between cheese and ham, and it makes it look like it's a dot ham, something like that, and it's like, oh, that must be a link or something. It'll filter it. So I see comments in there that should not be filtered out, but it's because of, of some miss spelling or something like that where it filters it I can see the comment but other people can't and then I can choose to approve it or delete it or I can block that person from commenting on any of my videos which I've done a lot of them a lot of them are scams some are just really really nasty um, and so if you if you comment on a video and then later like where, where did my comment go I don't see it well it might be that it's being blocked now I have changed my my thought on this a little bit my position on it where because I'm all about freedom freedom of speech the First Amendment and um, and so the way I put it is if somebody comes on there and calls me anything they want to they say anything they whatever you want to say about me I will allow that I will approve the comment I don't care I can take it but if they call the people that I repo from, a lot of times it's the word pigs. And while I'm not disagreeing that some people do live almost like pigs, I mean, pigs sleep in their own poop, so that's a little different. But uh, I've been to houses where I can pretty much not stand the smell on the outside and there's people living in it. And you know what really breaks my heart that ticks me off every time is that they always have kids. So anyways, back to the comments. Uh, my thing is, you can say what you want to say about me. You have the right to say whatever you want to say. It's the First Amendment right. But it is my content. It's my video. So I also have the right to delete that comment. And if it's a nasty comment towards the other people, I don't know what they can take. I know I can take it, but I know if they can. 
so I'm going to delete it for their sake. Anyways, just wanted to let you guys know um, for the ones who leave nasty, nasty comments, I probably will delete you. You have the right to put it on. I respect that. I have the right to delete it. It's my content. It's YouTube's platform, but it's my content. I own it. So, there you go. Happy commenting. Bye-bye now.